Hello and welcome to another episode of Sandy Killer Projects. Today we're going to be installing a trailer wire hitch on a 2021 uh, Toyota RAV4 XLE. Uh, the hitch wire assembly is number 56434 and it's made by a company called Kurt. Um, pretty simple to install, it's just going to let, take a little time to remove some panels. Um, so let's get started. Alright, so the first thing we're going to do is disconnect the negative terminal on the battery off of the post. Alright, so the next thing we're going to end up having to do is pull the side panels off of either side. Um, it looks like there's just a pop plug here, uh, which we'll take out, and then a Phillips head screw uh, in there. This should all disconnect after that. If it doesn't, then we'll talk about that after. Alright, so we had to backtrack a little bit. This panel on the back has to come off. Um, it's just got a bunch of pop plugs that go around it. There's a couple on the sides, uh, three or four through the middle. Uh, once you get those off, just lift it and move it out of the way. Uh, we're going to end up having to move, remove a couple of things on the sides over here because of the fact that we got to get these panels completely out to be able to get to the wiring harness that's sitting right around there somewhere. On either side of uh, either one of these panels, there's a little uh, cargo hold down strap. Uh, it takes 10 millimeter. That's in addition to the plug and the Phillips head screw. Then after that, there's a bunch of pop plugs inside of this. Um, that should be the last of the hardware. We may end up having one more hidden underneath that. All right, so the point we're at right here, um, we can actually get to everything that we want to, um, but the problem is um, it's there's not a lot of room, so we're going to end up fighting it. So we're going to actually make this panel come all the way out. We did end up having to get into here. This one was a 13. The other one was a 10. Why they did it that way doesn't really make a lot of sense. We're also going to end up taking out this back little hoop uh, behind the spare tire. There's a screw in that. Um, after that, it's just a couple of clips along, along the back part of this, and then this panel will remove. We'll end up doing the same thing on the other side to get the rest way off. All right, so we have the uh, driver's side panel off. Uh, we're in the middle of pulling the passenger side panel off. There's a light in here. So once you get back behind this panel, uh, you need to get into this guy, depress the little plug for the light before removing the panel, or you'll end up wrecking the connector for it. All right, so on the driver's side, you're going to locate this smaller connector. Um, looks like a square with a little pin on the top of it. Um, this side is going to be the connecting harness that is the red, yellow, and white setup. The module for the trailer wire setup will stay on this side and it'll get connected into the inside of here. For the passenger side, the green wire will come across. It'll ride along your bottom scuff panel here and then it connects in exactly like the other one is. We already have this one done. So um, this is what the driver's side will look like with the other color wires. Okay, so once that connector is connected on the passenger side uh, that attaches the green wire, put the panel back on on this side. Uh, then, on the other side, mounted the control module um, to the outside wall, and then put the ground screw in. Uh, the trailer wire connector, we cut through this grommet right here uh, so that we could fit the uh, wires down in, and then those are underneath. So coming out of the grommet, it just runs above the heat shielding for the muffler, and then uh, along the bottom of the bumper, and then it's sitting right there next to the hitch receiver. Okay, so back on the driver's side, um, the only other thing you really have to do in here is to feed the power wire. Um, there's a couple ways to do it. You can feed, feed it underneath the carpet kit going that way. You can bring it up and over through the headliner kit, all of which is going to be a huge pain. Uh, the easiest way to get it to go through, um, we put it right through that same grommet opening that allows us to pass um, underneath the vehicle. It comes with a butt connector. We also um, electrical tape the butt connector just to make sure um, it was protected from anything bouncing around here because all this wire gets zip tied and tucked into the back here. Now this is all done, we can install all the rest of the stuff that was in here back in. So to start on the front side of this, we're gonna add a fusible link into it, which comes with the kit. Um, it has a 10 amp fuse built in. All you do is unscrew the bolt for the power wire and uh, attach this on. Uh, once you've fed all the wires from up from the bottom, you're gonna connect this uh, to the end of the black wire coming from the back, and then that will allow the whole system to function. All right, I'm not gonna go into too much detail about how to do this, but um, we managed to fish the power water wire for um, the hitch assembly uh, underneath this plastic cover. Um, probably the safest place along the driver's side. There's no exhaust stuff going through it. Um, then when we got to the engine side, we just passed it up uh, to the front so that we could get it up in. All right, so at this point, uh, we got the power wire coming up from the back. We're gonna connect that to the pigtail that we have for the fuse, and this job will be done. 
Okay, so for the time being, uh, my friend who's got this has just got a connector on the end of it. It does have a butt connector that goes on. It will permanently get installed, but currently this is where we're going to leave it at. Uh, once that's done, reconnecting the battery. Uh, we've already rebuilt all the stuff in the trunk, which we saw take apart. So at this point, we're done. So let's make sure everything works. All right, so at this point, we're just testing out the lights. Everything seems to be coming on. Brakes and then turn signals. This is just one of the trailers we have out in the back. So everything appears to be working. Looks like uh, we hooked it up correctly. All right, so that's going to do it for this episode of Sandy Killer Projects. As always, thank you for watching. Please make sure to like, share, and subscribe, and we'll keep making more content.